Alright, what is up you guys? And of course always, welcome back to another wife of battle in OU versus Reddit player Jojo. And I can only assume we have some Ora Ora ahead of us. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> or actually this is cool. It's it's fresening alright, but I do like we well, say shuckle, so there's a sticky webbish team going on. We have the potential with the Grim Snarl to have screens. So overall, a super fat team that doesn't appreciate a Golisopod lead. How about that? That's not the first time we experienced that. Uh, so, two things going my way. First and foremost, I have Rapid Spin, so I can get Hazards out of the field. Second is, thanks to Screen Cleaner, there is no way he can set up screens against me. So just overall, this team looks kind of good against me. But Clefable is a Pokemon I don't necessarily want to deal with head-on. And I think it does effective versus me no matter what I necessarily do. But Chuckle is the obvious lead and everything else makes sense to not lead off with. Like basically you lead off with Chuckle if you don't think about it. Bold and Brash, there we go. Um, reason I said that is because um, when you have a shuckle and a grim snarl, you kind of you have two ways of going about the game depending on how you want to do it. And either way is actually quite fine. But we're gonna get that liquidation off um, and do an immense chunk, I think. Yeah, it's a two hit KO at least. And here comes not what I was expecting. Citrus, that's nice. Uh, I'm expecting stick web. Yeah, there you go. Nothing to it. And I'm gonna follow that up with another liquidation as my opponent most likely is gonna go for stealth rocks. And then I'm gonna force my opponent to decide which one he or she wants. Because I'm gonna spin. Because I didn't see anything on the team that was able to spin block, which is a mistake. Actually, you want to be able to spin block when you have this type of team. At least you want to, like, for me, the circle lead is always super aggressive. And if you decide not to go aggressive, then you need spin blocker. So, figure rock to him. All right, I was kind of thinking uh, Memento is one of those moves that always comes through. Right, rapid spin. And I actually like Rock 2 on this. Like I said, it always carries something like Memento or Enko, but I like Rock 2, I think that's smart. Now I'm putting the realist thinking because basically, if our speed is ra rapid spin and she decides to attack, then uh, she loses her hazards. Stick web, yeah, that's fair. I can just stick a web and get all the speed I want at this point. I'll lose nothing by it. Alright, which my opponent probably will realize. I have more rapid spins than you got hazards. And there is no way I'll even consider doing anything but keep on rapid spinning. The right play in my book is probably Rock Tomb here to get as much damage in there as possible. But I am fine with this too. I could Toxic to kind of um, force my hand a little bit, but uh, I just put myself in a position where I lose Hazards, or where she will win the Hazards. This seems very, very slow pace. Ah, oh, there we go. Next time I'm, I'm all yours. I also realize that this Pokemon now has the potential to actually um, really, really break apart teams. Unfortunately, this is not 
a nasty plot variant of um, Mr. Rhyme. If I were that, then I think um, I could potentially have swept to, thanks to this matchup and the favorable matchup that I got for boosting my speed to outrageous levels. But as far as this goes, you know, there is no hazards for me to worry about, and it only cost me like eight turns and stuff like that. <laughs> hmm. Right, El Chapo. All right. Cool. Um, now I figure we see something like um, like screens coming on. I'm just gonna go for Toxic. This could also be an offensive variant of uh, Grimmsnarl. Foul play. That will actually do all right versus me. Yeah, I was just about to say like that's that's aggressive. I did not want to see that. Um. I have nothing that likes that foul play either. Like everything comes in there just kind of takes a stinking s damage. Uh, I'm gonna send in skulls. Waste my focus sash because I don't. I f don't feel I'm ready to lose Mr. Rhyme just yet. Mainly because of the screen cleaner, right? I'll take that. Now it is. I do believe this Pokemon can carry Burning Jelly Seeds generation. Also, yeah, Moonblast is very fair. Let's do that. I could Tailwind up, but I think Moonblast is going to be very scared for my opponent to take properly. Brings in Brulee. Yeah, Alright, there we go. Is that an offensive one, though? I'm gonna send him Garrus. Um, I don't believe Air Slash will put me in range. But this could be a life fold variant of the Zato. Substitute. That's worse, actually. That was Citrus. Wikiberry. Alright, I'll lose nothing but go for our first impression here. And if he attacks me, he in theory forces me out, so it's alright. Let's see, Air Slash, and that will put me in what range? We're still good, we're still good. Oof, I don't like this though. I gotta go for Liquidation. This is way worse than it needs to. Yeah, I mean, the right play here is a substitute. Ah! He got me. He got me. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. The least Tauros comes in here and breaks it. The thing is, though, I don't know how much or how well Tauros will do versus... Um, um, versus the Fable. I will attack it because of the sheer force boost, but I just don't know. Right, this time to attack Saku, Satu, Satu. So I figure Clefable comes in. If Grim Snarl comes in, I'm gonna attack that one too. I think Sucker Punch, while threatening, is not something I'm very scared of. Bereskuda. Bereskuda carries close combat. We know that. Ooh, we're not gonna soak that hit. Alright, hopefully we see a flick turn here. This is not good. Close combat, alright. It's so obvious. I bring in scals and um, I'm just gonna tailwind up. 
because I think here is where Clefable makes 100% sense to come in. And I'll think I just U turn. <sighs> and it's not gonna do anything, I'm gonna see potential leftovers. But I'm just gonna flare blitz away. At this point, I'm seeing two plays. Either some type of setup, or just straight up move last. Thunder Wave. Oof. Yeah, it sucks. That means that Bolt Beak play would have been better. But I still have a choice Banner Flare that's coming his way, unless Paralyzed is actually going to probably kill him. But now I am neutral speed instead of double speed. <sighs> I hate the fables. Sometimes they're just. They're just that good. I'll, I mean, I like them, but sometimes you gotta just, ah. Supporter mods can be so disruptive. All right, he is thinking about this, or she is thinking about this. Oh, I'm fully paralyzed. I'm fully committed. Thunder Bolt, and that'll do. All right, twenty-five percent. That's nothing. We draws, damn it, to El Chapo. So I guess we're killing this guy. If we get this out, yeah, nice. Boom. There we go. No more Tailwind. Let's see, Burskuda is left. Clefable is left. Uh, oh yeah, and this guy. Uh, this also means that as long as... Oh, this kind of stinks, is it? Like, Earthquake is such a free play. I don't want to see something like scale shot. Everything he can do, I resist. I shouldn't be all too worried, but I should be wary. Okay. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, I see how it is. So you really are doing this. I mean, with this in mind, do I take any hitting and throw at me? Max Knuckle? Um, yes. Without a doubt. Without a doubt, indeed. Um, we're gonna tailwind up, and then I think we're gonna try one of his plays. Max Steel Spike, right? That's fair. Gonna absolutely kill. And there is the Moxie, there is nothing to it. Um. But we're double the speed, so if I connect this, then I shouldn't be all too worried. Actually, I'm probably slower, so it's a sack play indeed. <laughs> oh no. 
I forgot I was adamant. No matter, no matter. At least now he's out of the Dynamax, but he has plus three attack. Right, let's try this. Because I could Dynamax, I know that. But close combat should do plenty. Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Here comes the earthquake. Hmm. So right, it is basically all about reg assault. So I gotta go for that first impression, there will be nothing to it. Withdraws it, I think that's fair. Two picks here. And now there's only one play, and that is uh, Moonblast. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna base it all on the Drag Assault. Uh, I kinda messed up this game, I... Kinda dead. I'm kinda hoping I wasn't, but it absolutely feels like I screwed up. I think Max Lightning is my play, no matter what, and uh, hopefully I KO. And I have no idea what damage I'm going to take from Crocodile, if I even can consider taking anything from any body. But at least I get the double HP for a while. Probably should have saved Jum Jum, just saying. Let's see, how much will it do? Please be a KO, come on, I need this. <laughs> I just don't know how much an earthquake will do, and even with that in mind, Burrescued, I could very well just KO. And it just, like I said, there is really nothing I can do. I can't boost myself. I don't have anything like Max Airstream, anything like that. And I'm, and I am Magnet and not Sugarberry. I think Sugarberry would have been phenomenal here. I really wish I had like a steel move. Let's see, what does this move do? Lowers attack, get some sun, which all the things consider. I was gonna, doesn't, it, nothing here will help me. Just go for the max warm breath, see how much dirt people do. I think it's gonna do way over half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, I could probably set up the sun, sure, but why would it go for anything but close combat versus me? And is whether or not I can take a close combat. It's gonna pull down to this very last turn. And at this point, I think... Even if I lose, I... I uh, think I play this game... Well enough, but... I had hiccups, and my opponent got definitely the best of me. Thanks to that. Let's see. You know, it's absolutely not over. I shouldn't, I should absolutely not take, I'm, I'm leaving this to the village Wrath 4 after all. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we are, don't be sashed, for crying out loud. Please. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, well, what can I say? My opponent did good here. I criticize his team for being too passive, 
I, I sure did, but at the same time, he still won, so who is to blame here? I think my opponent got the best of me, if anything. So, <laughs> damn it! Damn it, the clutch. Anyway, to my opponent, Jojo, very much GG. Um, if I'm gonna criticize myself, probably, like, you know, you play this game, you never expect anybody to Dynamax, and, you know, I feel I always get kind of shafted aside there. And the other thing aspect is, of course, me forgetting that Jumdon was lower. Like, getting my Darmanite and Paralyze was probably, like, the... What is the strain or the straw that broke the camel's back? Because getting for the Paralyze, not defeating Clefable first try was immensely frustrated. But it made the game all the better for it, so for what is worth, definitely GG. And for everyone watching, as always, we're doing you so. You guys are awesome, and have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye.